So what are the most important topics to study for Jeopardy? Before we get into that, let me introduce myself. My name is Jessica Curley. I am a recent Denverite. I'm a former math teacher and I have my master's of arts in teaching secondary mathematics. I'm a trivia enthusiast and a first time dog owner. So back to Jeopardy. Here's a bit of background for those of you who don't know about it. Um, Jeopardy is a game show where three contestants are given clues by the host in the form of an answer to which they respond in the form of a question. On the left, we have an example game board where the top rows are Jeopardy's categories and behind each dollar value is a clue given in the form of an answer. On the right, we have an example of a clue instance. So um, we have the contestant would pick a category, in this case, edible rhyme time. The host would read the answer, a song for a dry plum, and then the contestant would buzz in with the correct response, what is a prune tune? So the objective of this, pro of this project is to uncover common themes and words from past episodes of Jeopardy to provide a focus for contestant preparation. I'll be doing this by using natural language processing to allow a mathematical model to interpret text from over 270,000 Jeopardy questions and answers and through topic modeling to uncover themes that describe clusters of text. So you may asking, uh, can't you just look at the most common themes that are common categories that appear in Jeopardy? And I can, but that's not spe uh, specific enough. So let me show you what I mean. So here are the top 10 categories uh, from Jeopardy over time from the last 35 years of episodes. We can see a lot of history and geography, science, literature, sports, other miscellaneous categories. Um, but if I wanna know specifically what is meant by, for example, business and industry, um, I may want to figure out uh, exactly what words are described in that category. Uh, there also seems to be a great deal of overlap. There's a lot of history here. So to dig deeper, I looked at the most common words in all questions and answers that appear in the show. And that's here. Uh, a note, the larger the word, the more that it appeared in the data set. Uh, without any further inspection, this isn't too helpful either. For instance, in what context is name a part of a Jeopardy clue? Um, so I decided to get the specific words um, and topics and the hidden themes of these clusters of words, I followed a certain workflow as seen here. So first I read in the data, uh, which was text from a Jeopardy clue as seen in this example. Next, I pre-processed the text by among other, thing, uh, among other things, removing stop words, punctuation, um, characters and lower casing, and also tokenizing the words so that they're just each, each word is an individual string. Then I turned that, uh, text into vectors using term frequency inverse document frequency vectorization method. And those vectors form a matrix of numerical values. Uh, that matrix was then factored into two matrices using non-negative matrix factorization to uncover the hidden topics um, that appear within Jeopardy clues. My result was 13 clusters of words where each cluster of words is connected by a common theme, which I will show you a few examples now. So I found uh, quite a few interesting things. These are two out of 13 of the clusters. On the left, we have clearly US presidents, Washington, President George, um, obviously very clearly topic about presidents. On the right, we have movies. So feature, film, Oscar. And here are two more clusters. Um, these clusters are maybe not as clear cut. Um, on the left, I decided to name this institution. So organization, university, college, uh, but I'm not so sure what to do about water or animal. And on the right, I have literature. Uh, clearly uh, work, author, publish are very connected in that sense, but maybe don't know what to do so much with James, for example. Um, and so the teacher in me is cleaning up those word clouds to provide you with an actual resource of what you should study. So G these are just three out of the 10 major topics that came out of those 13 clusters. If you want to see more, please check out my GitHub uh, linked here at the bottom. But we have US presidents, so you'd want to study vice presidents when they were born or in office and specific uh, presidents. Uh, for business and industry, you'd want to know stock symbols, founder information, and product names. And for movies, you definitely want to know Oscar winners, actors roles, and directors. For what comes next, I just want to make sure that my model is relevant for newer episodes. I'd like to create a web app for user interactivity and try out for Jeopardy. 
So hopefully this was insightful for those of you who are Jeopardy fans or uh, future contestants and opening the floor for any questions.